waste of time. A cable-ready color television set. A video camcorder with auto-zoom and auto-focus. A programmable VCR with remote control operation. In addition to the daily prizes, each week, the player with the highest single game score for that week will win one of these spectacular vacation prizes. A trip for two to Florida. Unwind in luxury at the Sheraton Bonaventure. Championship golf, tennis, five swimming pools and world-famous spa facilities furnished by the Sheraton Bonaventure Resort and Spa. A trip for two to Las Vegas to the world-famous Bally's Casino Resort. Fun and excitement is yours with six first-class restaurants, two showrooms, and a 40-shop mall. All from Bally's Casino Resort, Las Vegas. A trip for two to Jamaica. Air Jamaica will fly you to Sea on the beautiful island of Jamaica, a Radisson Villa Spa and Beach Resort. For a glorious week of fresh sea air, a private European spa for complete pampering, a quiet and private beach, and chanting nights of entertainment and fine dining are all yours at Sea The Radisson Villa Spa and Beach Resort, the ultimate in pleasure at Sea an all-inclusive private village resort vacation. For reservations and information, contact Travel Savers or call 1-800-333-3333 and fly away to Seabonet with Air Jamaica. Fly with the National Airlines of Jamaica, Air Jamaica. Service and hospitality and daily scheduled flights from selected major U.S. cities. Air Jamaica, we give you more. The travel arrangements are furnished by Travel Savers, the nation's leading chain of independent travel agencies. Consult your yellow pages for the Travel Savers agencies nearest you. Call 1-800-726-SAVE. Then, at the end of our current game period, one of our home contestants will win the grand prize, $100,000. Back to you, Wink. Okay, Charlie, that sounds terrific. Thanks a lot. How about you? You ready to play? Are your thinking caps on? Good. Here come the questions, and remember, write down your answers. The first category is television, and here's your first question. Who played Jackie Gleason's dim-witted neighbor in the 1950s television series The Honeymooners? Was it one, Danny Thomas, two, Art Carney, or three, Milton Berle? Remember, you can press number four if you don't have a guess and don't want to risk losing points. Here's question number two. What was the name of the silent clown on the Howdy Doody show? Was it one, Tinkerbell, two, Leroy, or three, Clarabelle? Question number three. Who was the creator of the Twilight Zone and Night Gallery series? Was it one, Rod Steiger, two, Rod Serling, or three, Ryan O'Neill? Question number four of the television category. Which character did Raymond Burr not play? One, Columbo, two, Perry Mason, or three, Ironside. Question number five. The movie American Graffiti inspired what TV sitcom? Was it one, The Brady Bunch, two, MASH, or three, Happy Days? And finally, question number six is this. Fred McMurray played patriarch Steve Douglas in what series? Was it one, My Three Sons, two, Bachelor Father, or three, the Brady Bunch. And there you have them. Those are the six questions you'll be asked in the first round of the television category. How about it? Do you know the answers? If you do, all you need to do is call, and you could be well on your way to winning $100,000. You can play anytime you like. Our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now let's move on to our next category. And this category is one of my favorites, music. These are the questions you'll be asked the first time you play that category, the category on music. So remember, make a note of your answers. And the first question is this. In 1962, which artist started a national craze with a dance he called the twist? Was it one, Bobby Darin, two, Mick Jagger, or three, Chubby Checker? Remember, you can press number four on your touchtone phone if you have no guess. Okay, question number two of the music category is this. Brian, Dennis, and Carl Wilson started what group in 1961? Was it one, the Four Seasons, two, the Animals, or three, the Beach Boys? Question number three. Where is the Grand Ole Opry? Is it one, in Knoxville, two, in Nashville, or three, in Atlanta? Let's try question number four. Here it is. I Got You, Babe was a 1965 hit for whom? 
Was it one, Sonny and Cher, two, the Carpenters, or three, the Beach Boys? And next we have question number five. Try this one. What was the name of the band led by Herb Alpert in the 1960s? Was it one, the Tijuana Brass, two, the Tamales, or three, the Desperados? Question number six. The final question of the music category is this. What type of music does Placido Domingo usually sing? Is it one, country western, two, opera, or three, new wave? All right, how'd you do? That completes the first round of the music category. If you know the answers, why not go to the telephone, make the call, and play along with us? That's how you can win. If you don't call, you can't win. Coming up next are the actual first round questions for the movies, sports, and general knowledge categories. So get ready. Hello, everybody. I'm Wink Martindale, the host of the $100,000 Telephone Trivia Challenge the revolutionary new trivia game that lets you, the viewer at home, be the contestant. How do you play? Well, it's easy. You just call 1-900-786-7900. When you do, I'll ask you a series of questions on one of these subjects. Here's your chance to prove yourself as a trivia expert in a real live game show atmosphere with real live prizes. For example, you could win a daily prize like a television, a VCR, or a camcorder. And you could win a weekly prize like a fabulous vacation for two to Florida or Las Vegas. And you could win our grand prize, $100,000. So give it a try. Our phone lines are open 24 hours a day. Who knows? You just may walk away with $100,000. Don't buy a cruise vacation without the official Travel Savers Cruise Guide or you'll pay too much. The official Travel Savers Cruise Guide lists over 700 sailing dates in 1991. Save up to $1,000 per couple only through Travel Savers. Choose from world-class luxury ships sailing to exotic ports. For the first time ever, this guide is now available through this special TV offer for only $9.95. Call 1-800-456-5144 now for the cruise vacation of your dreams for less. Welcome back to the $100,000 Telephone Trivia Challenge. Once again, here's the star of our show, Rink Martindale. Okay, Charlie, thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who may have just tuned in, this is the television game show unlike any you've ever seen before. Because this is the game show where you are the contestant, you answer the questions, and you win the prizes. And it's all done from your home using your own touchstone telephone. All you need to do to play along is call 1-900-786-7900 any time of the day or night. We're ready now to move on to the movie trivia category. Remember, jot down your answers because these are the same questions you'll be asked when you call and play this category for the first time. Here we go. The category is movies, and the first question is, here's looking at you, kid, was the famous line from which Humphrey Bogart movie? Was it one, Casablanca, two, the African Queen, or three, the Kane Mutiny? Now remember, if you don't know the answer, you can press four, meaning you have no guess. Question number two. Who starred with Rod Steiger in On the Waterfront? Was it one, Stacy Keach, two, James Dean, or three, Marlon Brando? Question number three. Who was that singing in the rain in the film singing in the rain. Was it one, Bing Crosby, two, Gene Kelly, or three, Fred Astaire? What do you think? Question number four. The 1953 film From Here to Eternity was said to mark the comeback of what singer's career? Was it one, Wayne Newton, two, Frank Sinatra, or three, Fabian? Question number five of the movie trivia category is this. Hitchcock's 1960 thriller, Psycho, starred Anthony Perkins and featured what actress? Was it one, Marilyn Monroe, two, Jane Mansfield, or three, Janet Leigh? And question six. Which actor did not appear in the 1939 film classic, The Wizard of Oz? Was it one, Donald O'Connor, two, Ray Bolger, or three, Jack Haley? And there you have them. The first six questions from the first round of the movie trivia category. 
Did you know the answers? Why not join the fun and, and play along with us? Remember, if you don't call, you can't win. The only way to win is to play. Okay, let's move on to our next category. This is sports. This ought to get a lot of you. These are the actual questions you'll be asked the first time you call in to play, if you choose the sports category. Here's question number one. Try this. In 1961, which New York Yankee broke Babe Ruth's single-season home run record? Was it one, Mickey Mantle, two, Roger Maris, or three, Yogi Berra? Now remember, if you don't know the answer, you can press number four for no guess. All right, here's question number two. Try this one for size. The best position to be in at the start of an auto race is called the what? Is it one, the pole position, two, the Polish position, or three, the pretty position? Next, question number three. In the early days of basketball, what was done after each basket was scored? Was it one, a TV timeout, two, a jump ball, or three, a huddle was allowed to set up a play? Question number four. In which state is baseball's Hall of Fame? Is it one, Ohio, two, California, or three, New York? Try question number five in the sports category. What auto race was first held on Memorial Day in 1911? Was it one, the Belmont Stakes, two, the 24 Hours of Le Mans, or three, the Indy 500? Finally, question number six. Dennis Connor is most famous for losing, then winning back, which trophy? Was it one, the America's Cup, two, the Stanley Cup, or three, the Davis Cup? And there you have them. Did you write them down? The first six questions of the first round of the sports category. Do you know the answers? If you do, you could win yourself some terrific prizes. But in order to do that, you gotta play. And the way to do that is by calling in. Now we've got one more category to go. General knowledge. And that's coming right up. Don't go away. Jack Klugman and Tony Randall were roommates on what TV series? The film Duck Soup starred what comical group of siblings? What singer found his thrill on Blueberry Hill? Do you know the answers to these questions? If you do, you could win $100,000. Hello, everybody. I'm Wink Martindale, the host of the $100,000 Telephone Trivia Challenge, the revolutionary new trivia game that lets you, the viewer at home, be the contestant. All you need to join in the fun is a touchtone telephone. How do you play? Well, it's easy. You just call 1-900-786-7900. When you do, I'll ask you a series of questions on one of these subjects. Television, music, movies, sports, and general knowledge. The choice of category is entirely up to you. For each question you get right, you score points. And those points could win you some fantastic prizes. For example, you can win a daily prize like a television, a VCR, or a camcorder. And you can win a weekly prize like a fabulous vacation for two to Florida or Las Vegas. And you could win our grand prize, $100,000. Can you imagine what it would be like to win that kind of money and have a whole lot of fun doing it too? Here's your chance to prove yourself as a trivia expert in a real live game show atmosphere with real live prizes. Now you can't win if you don't call. So give it a try. Our phone lines are open 24 hours a day. So if you've always dreamed of being on a game show, here is your chance. And who knows? You just may walk away with $100,000. Don't buy a cruise vacation without the official Travel Savers Cruise Guide or you'll pay too much. The official Travel Savers Cruise Guide lists over 700 sailing dates in 1991. Save up to $1,000 per couple only through Travel Savers. Choose from world-class luxury ships sailing to exotic ports. For the first time ever, this guide is now available through this special TV offer for only $9.95. Call 1-800-456-5144 now for the cruise vacation of your dreams for less. In New York, guests of the show stay at the Halloran House in the heart of Midtown Manhattan. Well, 
welcome back. Here again is the star of the $100,000 Telephone Trivia Challenge, Wink Martindale. Okay, thank you, Charlie O'Donnell. Ladies and gentlemen, by now, you know how fun and easy it is to play the $100,000 Telephone Trivia Challenge. All you need to play this game show at home is your touchstone telephone. It's easy to do. Just dial the Telephone Trivia Challenge number, 1-900-786-7900. When you call in, you'll have the opportunity to win some really great prizes, including $100,000. Right now, it's time to continue playing with our fifth and final category. This time, we're dealing with general knowledge. Question number one. Which U.S. state is known as the Sunshine State? Is it one, Washington, two, Louisiana, or three, Florida? Remember, by the way, you can press number four if you have no guess. Question number two. The House of Commons and the House of Lords make up what? Is it one, the British Parliament, two, the U.S. Congress, or three, the Vatican Council? Question number three. Where was the site of Custer's last stand? Was it one, Bunker Hill, two, Little Bighorn, or three, the Alamo? Question four. Who was the first human to walk on the moon? Was it one, Buzz Aldrin, two, Neil Armstrong, or three, Chuck Yeager? Here's question number five. The Sharks and the Jets were rivals in what musical play? Was it one, Grease, two, The Wiz, or three, West Side Story? And question number six. The final question in the general knowledge category is this. What country is Athens the capital of? Is it one, Greece, two, Turkey, or three, Switzerland? That's it. Those are the first six questions you'll be asked when you call in to play if you choose the general knowledge category. If you think you know the answers, make the call. It could be worth $100,000 to you. Remember, you can call at any time, seven days a week. The phone lines are always open. You now have the first six questions you'll be asked for each of the five categories. Television, music, movies, sports, and general knowledge. If you joined us late, there's no need to worry. You can still play along and play any one of the five categories because I'll give you complete instructions when you call in. So don't miss out on your chance to win. It's easy and it's fun. And best of all, you could win $100,000. You can't win if you don't call. All you need to do is call in to play. The number again is 1-900-786-7900. For now, this is Wink Martindale saying thank you for joining me, and I look forward to playing the $100,000 Telephone Trivia Challenge with you at home. And who knows? You may just win yourself $100,000. Hello, everybody. I'm Wink Martindale, the host of the $100,000 Telephone Trivia Challenge, the revolutionary new trivia game that lets you, the viewer at home, be the contestant. How do you play? Well, it's easy. You just call 1-900-786-7900. When you do, I'll ask you a series of questions on one of these subjects. Here's your chance to prove yourself as a trivia expert in a real live game show atmosphere with real live prizes. For example, you could win a daily prize like a television, a VCR, or a camcorder. And you can win a weekly prize like a fabulous vacation for two to Florida or Las Vegas. And you could win our grand prize, $100,000. So give it a try. Our phone lines are open 24 hours a day. Who knows? You just may walk away with $100,000. The travel arrangements are furnished by Travel Savers, the nation's leading chain of independent travel agencies. Consult your yellow pages for the Travel Savers agencies nearest you. Call 1-800-726-SAVE. For business or vacation in New York, stay at the elegant Halloran House, a gracious hotel offering comfort, lovely amenities, and fine dining. Call 1-800-223-0939.
Prize winners will also receive one of these quality products from Quantum Marketing. All callers to our 900 number will also be eligible to receive a valuable discount coupon on a quality Quantum product. The preceding has been a paid presentation of Quantum Marketing International. If you like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And check out my Facebook page for other exciting content.